South Korea was blamed on Wednesday for having moved forward what Beijing called discrimination against Chinese vacationers in the previous week, as a disagreement regarding travel controls between the two Asian neighbors heightened. In an editorial, by doubt, the Weshat account related with nationalist tabloid Global Times, an arm of the Communist Party mouthpiece People's Daily, called Beijing's choice to suspend a few sorts of visas for South Koreans. The discourse referred to local Thailand, which sent three bureau clergymen, including the representative state head, to invite Chinese vacationers at Bangkok's Subarnabhumi Airport. The online entertainment account likewise alluded to ongoing reports of Chinese vacationers being labeled with yellow cards then they showed up in South Korea. The article referred to a Korean authority who expressed that since Tuesday, just 5.5% of Chinese explorers tried positive in the wake of arriving in Korea, and contended that Seoul's choice was not in view of science. Beijing loosened up its boundary controls toward the end of last month and this month it rejected travel quarantine after China suddenly finished its well-established zero coronavirus strategy. Be that as it may, a few nations, including the US, Japan and South Korea, reported limitations on appearances from China in the midst of worry over diseases. On Tuesday, the Chinese embassy in South Korea declared that it had briefly quit giving short-term visas to South Koreans for business, tourism, medical care, transit and other personal matters. The actions were made as per domestic instructions and might be changed once South Korea scraps its limitations, it said. The retaliatory move came after South Korea suspended the giving of short-term visas for Chinese voyagers until January 31 with an end goal to force all imported coronavirus contaminations. Trips between South Korea and China, including Hong Kong, are currently restricted to Seoul's Incheon International Airport, with flights headed for Busan, Daegu and Jeju suspended. On Thursday, South Korea started asking people heading out from central area China to introduce a pessimistic PCR test required in 48 hours or less. Comparative measures were applied to voyagers from Hong Kong and Macau on Saturday. On Tuesday, South Korea declared that departures from Hong Kong and Macau would just be allowed to land at Incheon. Hours after the fact, Beijing reported the visa applications by Japanese nationals were suspended. News entrance Tian Yu News referred to Chinese sightseers as saying they were directed by troopers to take PCR tests, which cost as much as $430.63. Before the pandemic, South Korea and Japan were among the greatest wellsprings of unfamiliar guests to China, while the two Asian neighbors were additionally among the most famous voyaging objections for Chinese vacationers. As per official figures, Chinese travelers made 6.02 million excursions to South Korea in 2019 and 9.59 million outings to Japan 